Hi everyone, it's Jen here. Thank you for watching Really Rooted. Today I'm going to be tackling an area, the vegetable garden. Um, things, it got down to like 40 last night and things are looking a little bit rough and my cucumbers have stopped producing. I do have a few peppers that are still producing so I'll go ahead and leave those up um, or rather in the ground but everything else needs to be cleared out of that area and just kind of prepping for, for fall. For fall, y'all. So let me go show you what we're looking at and I'm gonna have some help today, thankfully. But, so clear out the tomatoes, clear out the, um, the cukes and kind of come up with a plan for what we're gonna do the summer in that area. And I'm a little embarrassed to show you it because it's been quite neglected over the last few weeks. Um, but it is what it is. Okay. So this is the area you could see. I have tomatoes. My cute is still kind of producing. I do have a pepper plant down there and up there. This was a temporary solution this year because we did not have time to do what I wanted to do with it. So we just kind of terraced it ourselves and put some weed barrier over it. We didn't mulch it, um, but this was a temporary solution when we started planting our crops late spring early summer and that's why I didn't really film us doing it because I knew it was only going to be for the season this is on a slope as you can see and we really need a better solution for our vegetable garden but this is one of the few areas that gets enough Sun for our our vegetables to thrive all right let's get started <laughs>
thank you for watching. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be because I had some help, which was greatly appreciated. Um, so we ended up pulling up all the feed, weed fabric because it really wasn't working well. It was an inexpensive weed fabric and I didn't pin it down well enough and we didn't kill the weeds prior to putting it down. So it just didn't really do its job as expected. And plus that was just a temporary solution. It was the quickest thing I could do to get my plants in the ground. And now I have all fall and winter to think about what I wanna do on this sloped area. Now this is one of the few areas in my yard that gets enough sun for a garden. So it really needs to be there, but I need to find a way to terrace it that will make it not only beautiful, but easy to maneuver, easy to get in there and pull weeds and take care of, of my vegetables. So if you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear from you. Right now, I'm gonna go treat my tomato baskets because my tomatoes did have some blight this year and I'm gonna be spraying those down with a solution of bleach and water. And then I'll do that again in the spring when I take them out, just to make sure that no diseases are transferred from one season to the next. Thank you guys for watching Really Rooted. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.